God, this music is so stressful. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to have an, an answer or something. Yeah, dude, you are supposed to have an answer now. Oh, my God. Okay, what is the Grolic Saves the World Celebrates their 100th episode with the quiz show? That's right! What the fuck? What the fuck? Forget it. They say a bird in hand is worth two in the bush, but that's only if you're hunting birds. If you're out there bird watching, a bird in hand is a bird you've already seen. I say get over to that bush. Find out what those two birds might be about. If it's spring, if it's fall, perhaps they're migrating birds. Perhaps they're birds that are not common in your area. And because you went and searched them out, you found a precious jewel. You can upload it to eBird, become famous in the birding community for a week at a time. So friends... Forget that bird in your hand and go after the two in the bush. This is the Grolic Saves the World. My name is Adam Caton Holland. I'm Ben Roy. <laughs> I'm Andrew Orvidal. Yep. Oh my God. And this is the podcast where we better the world around us by bettering ourselves through challenges and pearls of wisdom up front that may be things you haven't thought about. This is the big one, guys. Episode 100. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. The pearls were so long this time. I forgot. I was felt I needed to take notes. I like that one. Yeah. I, that one was long. But yes, it is. Everybody listening. Episode 100. The century mark. I can't believe it. With the level of infighting and distrust amongst <laughs> us three. That we've survived to a hundred episodes is is wild. The 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 amount of funds that have been misappropriated <laughs> by and you. Siphoned. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but I didn't. We weren't pointing fingers. We were just uh, talking about a misappropriation of funds. But yes, yeah. I have been siphoning some of the funds off of the top. It is wild that it took us ninety episodes to come up with the rule. Hey, if you're taking money out of the Grolix fund, let the others know what it's for. It's just wild that it took us ninety to get. Let to me that ask point. you something though. If I had told you that I was taking money to get parts mm -hmm. of my body waxed, would you have let me use that money? Only if we could have got the audio from it. We needed the audio of you screaming. <laughs> and I was using it as my own personal Orange Julius fund. I didn't think it would add up like that, and it adds up faster than you'd think. I'm getting waxed, and you're getting Orange Julius, the lamest of smoothies on the planet. What are you talking? You clearly have not had one in a long time. Orange Julius is disgusting. Orange you're Julius is fucking great. We have got to table the orange julius conversation <laughs> it's tearing us apart uh, and we have so much to get into in this episode fucking episode now here's the thing here's the thing we've done sort of wrap up year-end episodes before and we always kind of use them as opportunities to look back at past episodes and see what we've learned and if the world's a better place and blah blah fucking blah so we decided well by we i mean producer ron decided we're gonna sex it up a little bit Yes. We're going to turn episode 100 into... We're going to do it naked? Yes. That's why Ben got waxed. Quiet reflections while naked? All right. We're reflecting okay. while naked for viewers. <laughs> okay. Ooh, one of his oh, hoodies wow. is coming off. He's got three others <laughs> underneath it. I'll tell you what. Andrew did not get waxed. No, it's like watching not. the dad from the road strip. Are you ready? Here you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're eating in this <laughs> camp tonight, guys. One way or another. The dad from the road st stripping. God. So what we're going to do is bring out producer Ron. He's been in his producer uh, pod. It's deep, deep in yes and shoals. Let's pull it out and see what Ron has to say. Okay. Come on oh, out, Ron. Oh, listen to the bubbling of the shoals as he comes out in the uh, in the I. Oops, with some clams and some mussels some on top of that. Let's see if we can get a there we go. little octopus clinging to it. Oh, it, it's falling off the side. Yep. yep. Back, oh, back and the there shows. he is. Producer Hello. Ron. The sound. Spot on. 
Hi guys. Hey Ron, from the happy Mighty Show. Happy episode 100. Hey, happy episode 100 to you too. It's episode. very exciting. Episode. <laughs> episode. <laughs> episode. EpiPen. I need an EpiPen for this episode. I'm having allergic reaction to being with you for four years. You're having a uh, minty bee right now, is what I'm you're having. I'm having a minty bee. Having a bit of a minty bee. Yeah. Uh, welcome, yeah. fellas. It's really nice to be here. I'm very excited for what we're going to do. I'm going to break it down and we're going to get straight to act two. We're going to do okay. a trivia contest you are going to have a game show we are going to i'm going to ask you a series of trivia questions that our patreon supporters have submitted i've written a few and each of you have written a few we're going to go through we're going to find out how much you three actually remember about the last four years Uh and the last 100 episodes okay first of all can we just fucking pause for a second did you when coming up with these questions and receiving them uh, basically weed out the ones that involve questions or things that happened when I was looking at my phone. Can we make sure? <laughs> uh, no, because then we would have no questions to ask, yeah. Ben. We would have no questions uh, to ask. Producer tracks. Ron that with tracks. the motherfucking dunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a layup, but yeah, I mean, as a scorer, either way. Hey. Good job, Adam. I wish, Good job, Adam. I wish... I wish that's how an NBA announcer star <laughs> said it. Like, yeah. And here he comes with the motherfucking dunk. Yeah. <laughs> KCP with the motherfucking dunk. <laughs> well, this is wild. A little a little uh, pub trivia without the pub, huh? Crazy. Yes. I agreed to trivia, but I thought we were going to keep it general. World, World War II, uh, popular songs and whatnot. I didn't know it would be about this podcast. Oh, you've been beefing up for no reason. I've been Think about this as almost like a trivial pursuit game, but the categories are going to be Ben, Andrew, Adam, Rift Ugh, City, Boy Crazy, terrible. and The Girl <laughs> You can get this one on clearance at your local Target. <laughs> <laughs> trivial Pursuit, yes. Trivial Edition. <laughs> it, comes, it comes in brushed metal. It'll be yeah. nice. <laughs> I'm very excited, and thanks, Ron, for all the effort. Thanks to our Patreon for questions. I'm, Hell yeah. 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 I'm very yeah. excited to ask these questions. Folks have submitted some really great great questions for you and i think this is going to be really fun for fans of the podcast and for new listeners this is going to be like a quick and easy way to learn about some of the things that these boys have been doing for the last four years and you the listener you can play along too maybe you've been listening to all 100 episodes play along we're going to have the answers you can play are you smarter than three dumbasses and see if you can remember our pod better than we can. We've been conducting our annual survey of all of our listeners and so many people have listened to every episode of this podcast. Some people even said that they've listened to them multiple times. So I think they will do very well. So yes, definitely everybody listening at home, play along and see how you do. Play along. Good luck. If there's anybody who knows this podcast, it's us. (laughs) It's going to make you feel good about yourself and I don't bad know about, about your this podcast. comedy pals here. What podcast? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Whose house is this? And before we pull anchor, I want to say, because I'm so excited, I can barely keep this in. We have a super exciting announcement that we're going to get to after this trivia contest in Act yes. 3 that you are going to want to hear. Yes, indeed. Big announce Big announce coming down the pipe. Okay, Ben, well, let's get done with Act 1 so we can get onto this game show. Would you like to, uh, for the second to last time in 2024, would you like to give us your your signature throw to a comic? Classic. Oh, you want the classic? Okay, all right, I guess so. I don't I don't know. It uh, goes a little something like this. Why don't we do this? Why don't we listen to some live stand-up comedy from our... Our live show that happens the last Saturday of every month at the world famous Bug Theater uh, Asterix. Of course, there is no show in December, but tickets are on sale for the January show. Uh, and let's listen to some live stand up uh, comedy from a good friend of ours from our live uh, Grolix live show at the High Plains Comedy Festival. Uh, one of our good, good friends, Vanessa Gonzalez. You're all going to love her. And when we return, it's trivia time, baby. And we're going to crown the smartest person on this fucking podcast. So you you, you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. Even though one of us has a college degree. In the other. <laughs> okay. yeah, I'm sure that will come in clutch for this trivia contest. <laughs> What up, y'all? I am working on my confidence. I'm kind of shy. No, I'm in therapy because I'm very confident on stage. Like, right now, I know I'm better than all of y'all. But off stage, I I can't can't get it together. I have no power. I'm always like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Go ahead, please sit on me. 
I have manners. Uh, so I got a therapist and she was like, oh, how about to work on your confidence, you post something you like about yourself every day for 100 days. I'm like, I'll just kill myself. <laughs> like, gr I wanted to throw up. Who wants to do that? First of all, I'm like, 100 days? I don't even have 100 things that I like about myself. I feel like after the first post, which would be the pussy, <laughs> it's gold, it's gold. I would be all out, I'd be like, I'm out. <laughs> That's all, I guess I'll just post about my pussy every day. For a hundred days. And all of my followers would be like, what is happening? I'm like, I like this lip. I like this lip. This is my pussy in a box. This is my pussy with a fox. That's what I would do. Get out of the trenches of tedious tasks like managing order fulfillment and start growing your business with ShipStation. They'll help increase profitability by automating your workflow with their simple, easy-to-use dashboard. With it, you can pretty much do everything you need to quickly and easily. Update order information, print labels, compare rates, optimize shipments, and even set up automatic delivery notifications. And it doesn't matter where you sell. Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify. ShipStation can integrate pretty much anywhere online. Another great thing about ShipStation? They can help reduce costs with industry-leading discounted rates from some of the biggest mail carriers. You might even be able to get up to 89% off USPS and UPS rates. So, make this year your most profitable one yet. Sign up for your free 30-day trial at ShipStation.com and use the code SPOTIFY. That's ShipStation.com with the code SPOTIFY. We are back through the magic of podcasting. It's a minute and a half to two minutes later for us. And we are ready to play the game. Producer Ron, take us away. Sound dude. the game horn. Cool. I didn't need more to I do with this episode, but horns. thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, speaking of, we're going to set this up right right away. It's a it's a medieval invasion, Ron. It's so Real many quick horns. though, Ron. Also, <laughs> if at all possible, I'd like to be taking this test from a field of geese. Mm. So if you could put a uh, little, I think we'll just let the sound there, of, a little bit of uh, Andrew's dog clacking around on the wood floor. We'll, Pretend that's Here a goose. Here he comes. Pretend that's Here a goose, he comes. There's the pup. All right. Okay. Let's get All this right. underway. Here's how we're going to do this. We've got a series of questions in multiple categories. Those categories are Andrew, Adam, Ben, Rift City. Boring. Boy <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, boy crazy. Uh, and then we're going to do a, at the end, we're going to do a rapid round where all three of you are answering. Okay, oh I'll start. God. I'll take yes. Ben for 800. Okay, that's not how, no. <laughs> yes, I'd like to answer questions well, just about myself. Well, you're not going to be answering the questions about yourself. <laughs> Andrew and Adam are going to be competing for questions about you. Does that make sense? Because you already know the answers. <sighs> Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay. Everybody, okay. Fucking you're going to figure it out very quickly when we get started. I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to figure it out very quickly because I made this up literally 45 minutes ago. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start this off. Okay. Andrew, <laughs> as usual. You got this. Ron, we've been podcasting for 50 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to do. We're going to start off with a question. Adam and Ben, you are going to be answering this question. You're competing against each other to answer this question the fastest. And everybody, you need to come up with your own buzzer sound because we don't have the budget and I don't have the time to make buzzer sounds for all of you. we got to make our own buzzer sound with our mouth? Oh, shit. There's only one buzzer sound befitting of a Ben Roy, so I've got it. Let's locked. hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay sorry. That's your buzzer sound? Yeah, fuck. I'm going to go with something yeah. so short and fat. I'm going to go with like an ultra sonic rat whine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That's mine. Uh, <laughs> this is already off to a great start. Adam, what's yours? What's your buzzer sound? <laughs> uh, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Begging at the table for crumbs, are we? You didn't, you didn't want to use the yeah. sound of your beard scraping against the top of another of your <laughs> scratchy sweaters. You could have used that. 
I'd like to use the sound of Ben <laughs> sobbing in a hoodie. <laughs> All right. Oh, this contest okay. is already two person. I'm, okay. I'm already doing this. This first question is about Andrew. The question is for Ben and Adam. All right. Question number one. Andrew has lots of jobs and side businesses. One of those businesses is a company that specializes in DNA testing and pants. What is that company called? Oh, my God. How many seconds should we give them? Three, two, one. Yeah. Uh, you buzzed yeah. in? No, right. I buzzed what's, in. What's your answer? That's my buzz in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, fuck. That's what how I buzz it? in. I buzzed in. It's, um, oh, I've got cum on my pants. Or something. Stop. Like and <laughs> Jesus no, I thought Christ. it was something like that. No. It's not. All right, nope. Ron, tell him the answer. Nope. The answer is Wyoming Gene Co. Oh. You guys remember the Wyoming, Wyoming Gene Co? Gene Company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a deep cut. That was a deep cut. I forgot. That was That's a very funny deep when cut. That gonna... That's a good one. Yeah, it was. I think they might have thought it was a serious business because I also have a lot of serious side businesses. But I still <laughs> hold that, oh, I got cum on my pants is... It's... Yeah, it's like a negative answer. Bad. It makes me yeah. want to give you a negative point is what uh, it makes but me want to you're give not. You. A, are you going to? No, I am keeping case. the score, so it could be. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay. great. So far, the score is zero. For zeros on the board, zeros across the board. Score We're zero, go next Adam, to, This is a thin ice bin. Okay. <laughs> this is a question. This is a question about Adam directed okay. at Andrew and Ben. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Uh, everything about Adam. Uh, in the You Can Eat My Whole 30 episode, what did Adam reveal that he and Katie were eating as their quarantine sweet treat guilty pleasure? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. What is it? Uh, oh, ding, 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 ding. Sundays. They were making Sundays. Ta-da! Bravo. You got wow. it. That is correct. Adam and Katie were eating up to four Sundays a week. Yes, <laughs> it's getting pretty real. It's getting pretty real. <laughs> Oof, nut city, right? Okay. All right. Oh, I Good love job, it. Andrew. Well, go. We got points on the board. All right. This next question is: uh, It is about Ben, and it is directed at Andrew and Adam. I know uh, nothing question, about Ben. What is Ben's attachment style? This is from the attachment style Shit. episode where you did a you did a uh, test to find out what your attachment yes, style is. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Adam? <laughs> Unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Unhealthy. Yeah. Ding ding. Uh, ding stalker wait, 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 stalker what like. <laughs> the, the correct answer is anxious, but I feel like we need to give points to Adam. <laughs> Okay, I'll give him a point. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, back around. Uh, do, do you guys want? Do you want to? Do you want a boy crazy question or a Rift City question next? Or You're the host. do you want to go back I around just, to yourself? I don't like hearing Adam go. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I changed mine to this weird like slot machine sound. I don't know. Yeah. I panicked. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go on to. Let's do a. Let's do a Rift City question. This is going to be to all three of you. Uh, okay. Uh, name. Uh, name three locations in Rift City. First person to name three locations. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Oh. Um, Adam. Adam ringed in first. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds okay. like the audio for a <laughs> terrible porno is what it sounds the like. Two, yes, please. Of- <laughs> oh, what are you watching? Crumbs from the table over there? Yep, crumbs from the table. A yep. Dickensian Nothing orphan oh, visits his stepmom for the, the first time. Oh, my God. All right, Adam. Okay, All right, Adam. Three, three, locations, locations, in, three locations in Rift City. Uh... Uh, Purgatory Bay. Um, uh, Ernest, if you get it wrong, ship, you're already you got one done, wrong. right? You already fucked it up. Yeah, it's, I said Purgatory. No, it's not it. Segway Bay. Let him, let him finish. Bay. Let him. Let him name. name Ernest this township and the parapet from which I fire my arrows. Mm. You got uh, it. Has ju- a name, I'll let you two be the judges. Uh, I know this is Rift City, so technically. All of these places can exist. Purgatory Bay is not the, the name, so I would say Purgatory no. All right, Bay. Ben it's, buzzed in second. Ben, can seg- you name three? Yes. Okay. There is Segway Bay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Fuck. That's that's right. Uh, there is. Uh, it, it, honestly, we should count the the drawbridge to Rift City as one of the places. Okay, that's one of the, the locations. drawbridge counts. It's on your chest. You got it tattooed. It definitely yep. exists. Yep. And then the Jimmy John's. And then there is. Uh, God. 
Oh no! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I'll buzz in. I'll buzz in. Shit. Adam said. Adam said them. Uh, I mean, yeah. Adam. Adam listed others. You I don't trust others. Adam's. I don't All trust right, Adam. I'll say three. Right. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I'll just use the ones that have been said. Segway Bay, the drawbridge, and maybe I'll list where Bobcat, our special guest, Bobcat Goldthwaite, lives. Crowdwork Heights. There's three. Oh, oh Crowdwork Heights. Well, That's right. Well done, he does live there. Okay. That was a lot of time spent on Rift City. I didn't like that at all. Let's move on to another <laughs> question about Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Uh, all right, so this is a question about Andrew for Adam is and Ben. Is it wrong ben? that I don't want to buzz him? <laughs> Stop it. Just, just get ready, you okay. loser. Okay. You're going to lose another uh, challenge okay. today. You're okay. going to lose another challenge today. Uh, so you three did a vegan for a week challenge this year. Uh, what is the name of the chain restaurant where Andrew broke his vegan edge? There's two possible answers. And there are two possible answers. If you name them both, here. you get two points. Oh, All right, Ben, <laughs> let's hear it. <laughs> ben, go ahead. <laughs> Arby's is one of them. And that is incorrect. Adam, you want to take a shot? You get a freebie. Uh, just throw throw out a chain name. Yes, and, please. Um, you don't have to buzz in. It's. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm going to make it whiny. I'm going to make it whinier. Um, Wendy's. And Wendy's. That is oh, incorrect. Shit. The correct answer uh, was Denny's and TGI Fridays. He mm-hmm. ate both oh, of those. Like, so what sad. an asshole. Mm-hmm. So disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Now, oh yes, he was. He was in Florida, right? You yeah, were traveling. yeah. He That's was in right. Florida. He yeah. was in Florida traveling. Okay. All right. This is an Adam question. Uh, this is for Andrew and Ben. During the very first episode of this podcast, Adam bragged about opening for a comedian. Who was that comedian? Oh fuck! I don't even remember. Yeah. I don't. Uh, <laughs> first episode ever of this shit. podcast. Ding, ding, the very ding. first episode of the podcast. I'm ever. just yeah, guessing. Dana Gould. That is incorrect. I mean, that's a favorite. That's a favorite of mine. I know. That's why. That's what I was guessing. Uh, uh, I'll give you. A, I'll give oh, you an additional. Can I, hint. can I guess again? Uh, mm-hmm. No. <laughs> you no. already. You already had your chance. Uh, ben, you get a chance. I'll okay. give you an extra hint here. I. I actually celebrated my 40th birthday at this show. Oh, it was me. It was not. You. Oh, that's so nice of you. No, just <laughs> definitely not you. Well, just give me a second here. I didn't have to say definitely, Ron. We're Jesus gonna have to, Christ. We, we've got people listening. Ron, would you say my listening. performance yeah, made fuck. your 40th birthday? I'd like to chime in. Go ahead, Ben. It's literally your turn to chime in. Yep. It's Eliza uh, Schleisinger. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud to watch her dog. He I was so like proud was to watch uh, <laughs> You know, I I feel like we should give half point whenever your answer is insulting to the the person. I feel like we should give you half a point. Uh, but but no, but no, that is incorrect. The correct answer was Patton Oswalt. Oh. I was gonna say it was Patton. To yeah. answer it, your question, Adam, yes, it did. Uh, you killed that night. It was very cool to see my friend just destroy Paramount Theater. So that was great. Ron, you're a sweet, you're a sweet, sweet man. I, th- thank you very much. That was that was a fun one. All right, uh, <laughs> let's move on to a question. This is a question about Ben for yep. Andrew and Adam. Good luck, losers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one's going to go quick because we've already discussed it today. Ding, ding, stupid. Uh, Did I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <go. laughs> no. Uh, during the Dungeons and Dragons episode, what was the name of Ben's character? Yes, please. Ding, ding. Yes, ding, please. Ding. Adam got it. Adam oh, got it. God, God it. damn it. It was Bing Bong. Okay. Uh, Bong. It's his fucking screen uh, name right now on the... On the chat. <laughs> so sorry, loser. <laughs> I know Suck he it. he threw out a piece of trivia oh. right away. I didn't know it was gonna it was gonna coincide with oh, the question. Pathetically, uh, a little points. bonus question to both of you: uh, What kind of character was Ben in the was D&D Bing episode? Bong? Please, uh, ding Thank ding. Uh, he was a, a cat guy, Tabaxi, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He was yeah. a cat That's person. Uh, yep. You're literally the only person that was a throwaway for you, Andrew. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank okay. you. I'll I mean, take uh, it. I'm currently winning the game. All right, let's move you're on to a boy. The game. Let's move on to a boy crazy <laughs> question. Loser. We're gonna do a boy. <laughs> We're gonna do a boy crazy question. Uh, this is for all three of you. Okay. Uh, who is the only hunk? that has received a unanimous vote as top hunk on any episode of Boy Crazy. Shit. Yes, please. Uh, Adam. (laughs) (laughs) Kurt Kurt Cobain, Grunge Heroes. 
Kurt Cobain grunge hunks. Nope. That is incorrect. No, that was no. A, that was a high. Didn't we all agree he was number that one? That was a high. We well, the table yeah, but we removed him, so maybe Ron's not counting that it. one. Okay, so yes. I feel like I get half a point. I will. Con- I full, fully confess this is a question from a Patreon supporter, and I did not fact check this. I'm just. I huh. think I remember and agree. We all uh, agreed Kurt Cobain was number one grunge hunk, so we like removed him or something. That was no, that was a conversation. Yeah. Yes, this is where uh, where you all three bought you all three of you brought this hunk to the table. And all three of you voted this hunk as your top pick. Shit. Uh, it's the only right. time that's ever well, happened. Uh, ding, uh, ding, ding, uh, ding, 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 ding. I shot my shot. Uh, Maverick from Top Gun. That is incorrect. Ben, you want to go? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> um, okay, ben. I think I'm going to say it's Paul Walker from the Fast and the Furious Challenge. That is also incorrect. Wow. Uh, the correct yeah. answer Tony the Tiger. Damn it! I was gonna guess that. I was like, I bet it's Tony <laughs> the Tiger from the, the fucking cereal one. You guys did a breast, breakfast cereal yeah. mascots episode. Uh, that's that's right. uh, Tony, Tony the Tiger. That you all tiger is Tony the that tiger. one was in the back hot. of my head. Uh, that's awesome. Right, with back my gut. Tiger. Back up. Back around mm. to a- Andrew. Can we do a little score check? How are we doing here? Sure. Currently in the lead with three points. Me in second place. Adam with two. In last place with zero points. Ben. <laughs> Attracts. <laughs> it's all. Okay. Kind all right. Of, <laughs> all right, Ben. Uh, <laughs> this one's for you uh, and Adam. It's about Andrew. Okay. In the Kickstart Your Love Life episode, episode number three, okay. you created a dating profile for Andrew on what online dating service? Hi. Yes, please. Uh, ben. <laughs> it was like called Bark or something. It was about dogs, like people with dogs. No, it was called Leash. Or some <laughs> shit, fucking I don't know. It's it was about leash. dogs. All right, oh, I don't you know on leash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a different one. That's the BDSM one for dog oh, lovers. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't the one. All right, Adam. Adam, you want to go? I can't remember either. I was just gonna riff on dog names. Uh, Paw prints on your heart. Um, unleashed. Uh, Should we give Ben a half point for at least knowing the theme Kibble. of it? Yes. I knew that too. I knew that too. Then I want a half point as well. This is How bullshit. about we each no get one half, gets a half well. point? No. <laughs> no, we each get half a point because we knew what it was about. Andrew, but do you want to say what yeah, the name? What it was? It was dig My locations from Rift City. Dig dating. Whatever. But Adam, it doesn't make no, sense. No, I'm not doing any half points. The, the point is that I chimed in first. <laughs> That's how barely. a point system. <laughs> Don't barely me. I heard you. Yes, please. You were quite a bit after me. I was not, and I also knew it was some sort of dog website. Yeah, but that's how a quiz game works. We may all know the answer. It's who comes in first. Not if you not if you get nobody's getting any points. You don't get to say after the the fact when I said the fucking answer for you to go, I also knew that I get half the points. You dumb shit. My full point is you don't get a half point. <laughs> All right, Ron, move us along. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like where we're at. This is sort of where I wanted to go. That's so I don't stupid. even think we need it's the so questions anymore. Dumb. I just need to let you let you three loose. All right. It doesn't make any sense. Who would go on Jeopardy and be like, I knew that answer, Alex. <laughs> Give me half. Alex <laughs> would just, but if you said Jeopardy, you would just get it wrong, as would I. <laughs> Alex, and, and we would both lose points, in fact. And he's dead. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. How dare here. you? Fair enough. Uh, I'm only agreeing to not take points because Alex Trebek is dead. Well, I'm That's not the giving them to R. you R. either R. way. We just R. R. talked about me getting one. half a point. You and then fucking, I said no. I don't want to give anyone half points. I don't want to add the, half is, points. Yeah, well then don't I'm lazy. I, then don't fucking Maybe offer. I should get a point for convincing you to come off of the half point system. <laughs> that I'm I'm listening to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have no idea how that shook out math wise, but I'm, I'm, I appreciate that you went through the process. All right. This is a question about Adam. It's for Ben and Andrew. Um, in the history of the podcast, by the way, this is a question written by Adam. In the history of the podcast, I can name tell because most- it's already long, too long. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I NPR us a little in, bit. Sorry, I had an air of class. In the beginning, if you harken back. Okay. <laughs> Start at the beginning. In the history of the podcast, name the most bullshit dodging of a challenge in podcast history. Oh, uh, ding, ding. I like to tink. Ben, ben got it. 
Uh, Andrew with the mushrooms. Number one, slam dunk with a No ball. fucking way. A- Andrew, you get a chance to answer. Ding, ding. I was Ben. It was Ben weaseling out of something, but he's weaseled out of so many things. I can't pin down what it was. <laughs> here's, here's Andrew not doing the batting cages because he had a fucking bunion or something. I had a How fucking in- nope. injury to my oh, neck from moving. Like it was Ben. In. It was How Ben about- weaseling out. Fuck, about it's which episode Adam, was it? Oh, fuck. Here's Adam weaseling out of the Whole30 diet just because he doesn't fucking like doing it. Oh, fuck. It was Ben. I did that for six of seven days. Oh, That's hard no, to weaseling out. I just know it was Ben. I can't Listeners remember the episode. Home, fact check that, please, and let me know if that's accurate. I don't remember him making it six days, but... I did. And, no, you did okay. not. Make I don't. It, know. it was, I don't it was really Ben, like, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the uh, the specifics. Liars. But it was Ben. You're both fucking liars. What but was anyway, the it was fucking Andrew challenge. Opting out of the mushroom challenge. Last chance. Last chance. No, it's three, ben, it was Ryan. Ben. It was Ben on you. the TV <laughs> challenge. I'm just guessing. Ben on the TV challenge. I mean, that was a good guess. I mean, there were really so many uh, choices. <laughs> there are so many. I feel like I should be giving you all points for all of these because they are all correct. Uh, no, uh, Adam's Adam's answer was Ben's perineum sunning through a fucking window. Oh, that was a good, another good good one that was another good one that's I, bullshit i'm sorry i don't have a the reason a i brought that up all those other ones that you guys brought up let me you remind up, you no about me. the perineum no challenge the andrew this was the perineum first episode challenge, of this year all we saw was imprints in the snow we didn't see anything i gave you fucking you, video i gave what you are you talking about you didn't see the, i asshole. showed you the fucking snow angel i made showing my fucking ass to the you sun what else did picture. you need adam at least had a picture of him on those porch you could have got a selfie of you i had a picture i showed you the picture you you showed us an indent of your butt cheeks in the snow. Yeah, where I was look. laying down. That's bullshit. That could have been made by anything. There's no fucking way. I give you fucking video. I give you fucking video. Yeah, of you in your action. room. Of you in your room you not doing okay, the challenge. Just to be clear, you had your underwear on during the video. I was in the room with the video. Yeah, because you, you were had there, but I aired on. my asshole out that fucking... I swear to God. Fuck you. Fuck you both. All right, no, no, Ben. Let's, fuck let's move on. We you. got another... Thing uh, you know what? Towards... You guys need to let this go. You need to let this go. Let's move on to a question about Ben. If this you missed that Andrew episode and, and you're listening, go back and listen to episode one of this year. Uh, are you there, God? It's me, butthole. And you can judge for yourself who, who did Shut the perineum yep, sending exactly. and who didn't. Shut up. This, exactly. que- this is a question for <laughs> Adam and Andrew, written by Ben. Here's the question, Adam and Andrew. Do you do either of you have any real proof besides your own bullshit self-assessment that Ben did not properly sign his asshole? <laughs> <laughs> ding ding. Yeah, I do. Please. The fucking video he sent where he's not outside. That's what that I have. Is, no one said I yeah. had to go outside. It said it had to be direct sunlight. I removed the fucking screen, and my asshole was being sun directly. What are you a fucking succulent house plant? Get you yes. got to be outside. <laughs> it you got to be outside. Like, you can't get that indirect sunlight. That's not indirect. There was direct. If you're in a the house, window, it's indirect. No screen. If you're in a house, if there's it's no indirect. screen. The the fucking thing is wide open. You guys are so full of shit. You're just mad that I don't have. I want to say it was the first time that the listener. Learn to be disappointed in the podcast. <laughs> and you did it to him. <laughs> Episode 76 for anybody who wants to listen. Uh, you can judge for yourselves and see what you think. Uh, okay. I'm, I say no points for that. Ben said the answer is no. No, they do not. Uh, okay. So that yeah. was, wow. You wrote that, that whole question on your phone? Answer, I'm impressed. Answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to Rift City here. This yep. one's going to go fa- I think this one's going to go fast. Uh, this is a question to all three of you. What is the population of Rift City? Yeah, oh, fuck. Yes, please. Ben. It's uh No, I was been before. No, you this weren't. 42069. It's always been ding, that. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. All right, Ben yeah. on gets on the board with the dumbest point possible. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why, why did we say that this is just... I like... Hold on. I like that in Rift City, if someone new wants to move there, it will upset that population, so they have, they have to, to evict defeat. somebody. Yeah, it's or a kill someone. They, they can also defeat. kill someone. Right. You you have to challenge a current resident of Rift City to a strength contest. Not to mention, if, you if are, there if is an epidemic of some sort, we got to get to breeding. That's right. And that's what happens. If we lose some people, we get to fucking to get it back up to 69. Yep. And if we go beyond it, those people, <laughs> yep. they get kicked out. That's just the way it is. 
It's a, it's what do you a do in the in the spaces. gap between where somebody dies and the 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 term of the pregnancy that nine months? We have scabs. So we have Rift City population scabs. There's people. people there's a waiting in. list. They're living in tents outside the city. Yes, they're we temporary. Can I tell resident. you, for those people that get a scab in Rift City for nine months, it's the best period of their life. They never forget it. As old men <laughs> and women on their deathbed, they talk about that brief period mm-hmm. that they got to be in Rift City. They tell their kids about the time they were a scab in Rift City and the it's bounties. So nice. so plentiful nice. I'm so bountiful. bored with all of this. All right. Uh, let's, <laughs> it's like a semester abroad. All right. We're going to do, do one more. And Ron doesn't want to say this. Shh, Ron, just one second. Now, mm-hmm. Ron doesn't mm-hmm. want to say this because he wouldn't dare because it is beloved to our listeners, but boy, does he mm-hmm. hate Rift City <laughs> and all of its <laughs> locales and all of yeah, the talk little, about it. Yeah, a little it. secret for all the listeners at home. About 60% of Rift City winds up on the cutting room floor because uh, it is is not listenable to anyone. We should just do a side podcast where we just live in a fictional city called Riff City. (laughs) Absolutely. A lot of Riff That I'm down for. That I'm down for because that sounds like a thing that people would choose to be part of. The only only street gang in Riff City are called Riff (laughs) Raff. Why That's have a, a gang man. if they've good got stuff. no one to compete against? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, they, <laughs> we're gonna they d- fucking break off into factions, bro. Yeah, it's against, all the time. It's against the established authority systems. There are an original style street You don't gang. know about a riff refraction. That happens constantly in Rift City. Riff and this rap. is an hour-long podcast. <laughs> Not at this rate, it isn't. Ron, right, right, right. next right. question. We're gonna go through well, we're gonna go when they through. break into fractions. It is, <laughs> when they break into fra- when they break into fractions, it is called it is called rifts. They have rifts. Oh, riff rifts. That's all I had to say. There's rifts. There's a serious riff rift <laughs> happening in Rift City. There are rifts. The, the riff raft rift. Okay. Rift raft rift. Occasionally, there's a rift. Occasionally, there's a rift. It, when riff raft all I'm saying. has a full refraction, can... it's called a, a, a riff raft. A rift. This riff is rift. going great. Uh, listeners at home, I'm so sorry I came up with this idea. I'm doing my best here with what they're giving me. Okay, we're going to go through one more question for each of you. We have more questions than we could possibly get to in, the, in this episode. We're going to save some questions for for Act Force for our Patreon listeners so they can hear the rest of these. <laughs> All right, this question is about Andrew and it is targeted at Adam and Ben. Adam and Ben, Andrew is the scout for a fictional minor league baseball team. <laughs> what is that team's name? Oh, shit. That wasn't that long ago. Hold on a second. No, this no, was very recently. recent, you dumb shits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I was so busy beating the shit out of Ben, I didn't really pay attention to others. This is from our this baseball, from the baseball episode. challenge. Yes, if you didn't, if you didn't listen challenge. to this one, Ben challenged Adam to a baseball skills competition, and yep. I was the scout for a fictional baseball. I can't even remember, and I made it up. It was really good. It, it was, was an excellent name. one. Yeah, this is so fun for the listener to just list you, listen to you guys. Not well. You're gonna put in like a funny like Jeopardy music jingle. Is so it'll am be, I? Yeah, am so I? it'll be listened. I feel so like they should have to sit in the silence like I am. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. The cold silence of... All right, right, zero points for everyone. The correct answer is the West Calhoun ribeye. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so good. It's too realistic. It's too realistic. I remember it being a really good name. Like, it could be a minor league team. You saw that on a list of minor league teams, you'd be like, and that's another one. That's That's not any more strange than the the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Yeah, or the or the Sioux Fall fighting pheasants. Yeah, um, but yeah, Modesto nuts. That's another good one too. The, Med- <laughs> yep. the Modesto nuts. All yeah. right, um, it's been flying this, squirrels. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's a- Andrew. Great. Can we do a score check right quick? Great ballpark. I've got too. a couple questions here for in the Adam category that are directed at you guys. I have three. Adam has two. Ben has one. Okay, wow. that's good. Okay, to try and see if we can level the playing field here, we're going to go on to an Adam question. These are questions. Ri- this is also another question written by Adam. Okay. And it's going to be, you're going to each get your own chance. You don't have to buzz in for this one. You're each going to be given a question, and you, you get a chance to do it cool. on your own. So, but I, I mean, that's not going to even the so, playing field because I'm in the lead. It would only so I can maybe I can you should do double points buzzer. for the all the free for all round. How about that, Andrew? Trust the process. Okay, all right. I'm just you'll saying. learn soon enough why I think we're going to be fine. I can put uh, my this buzzer is, down. This is a this is a question related to the Spanish challenge that you all did. Uh, El Gralic salva la idioma. Ben, please save the phrase. My name is Ben. 
and I would like to be your friend. In Spanish? No. <laughs> in Spanish. Oh, shit. En español, por favor. Oh, shit. Hola, mi nombre es Ben. Anything else that comes out of my mouth will be problematic. So I would like to stay. <laughs> You're gonna stop right there. I'm so proud of you uh, for taking the high point. for taking mi, the high road. Mi nombre has been uh, something amigo. I that's the only thing I know. Uh, uh, yeah, Adam, I think that deserves half a point, right? I give I give half a point to that, half but point. I think we're half off the point. half a point system, so zero. <laughs> yeah. So we're rounding down. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. with, the, with the half points, we are rounding down. The way you deliver that is, <laughs> yes, I'd agree, but unfortunately, we are off of the half points system, so zero. <laughs> All right. That, All right. So what's the, correct, so what's the correct answer, producer yes. Ron, for no, the listener Ron, at home? Ron or Adam. Adam, give it to us. I can't. I don't. Uh, I can what, do is, what is the phrase again? My name is my Ben, name and, I, is ben be and I would like to be your friend. Me llamo Ben y quiero ser su amigo. <laughs> I would say yeah. quisiero, pero both are correct. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. I didn't ask you what you would say. <laughs> well, you didn't say my name is Ben and I want to be your friend. Uh, you said I would like, which is the subjunctive which is funny. Mood. I don't recall asking for a concert. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even making eye contact. He's looking. Andrew, down. here's for you. <laughs> I All know right. we can't look at each other when we're doing it. Uh, Andrew, uh, here's yours. Please say the phrase in Spanish. My name is Andrew, and Ben, I don't want to be your friend because of your sexual whining. What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is completely fair. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I can't. And like Ben said, uh, to even try would uh, probably not yield great <laughs> results. Um, you don't even want to take a crack at my name is Andrew. Uh, me llamo Andrew. Uh, okay. <laughs> great. great. I'm trying to think of why I did say sexual whining, and I, I do not know. All right. We will not be doing any live shows Adam, in Mexico can you do it? Can you soon. tell us what the answer is to that? Well, Ron wants me to say, mi nombre es Andrew y Ben no quiero ser su amigo a causa de sus quejidos sexuales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's. Uh, I think you know what. I think uh, we need to give Adam another point for be, for doing that. Uh, and for oh, for speaking the question. language he's fluent in. Okay, let me score him up here. All right, <laughs> it's tied for first. A lot of, <laughs> lot, lost a lot. All right, moving on. We we're gonna do the final Ben question. Then we're gonna go on okay. to a speed round with all of you. Okay, uh, got it. Okay, okay. Got it. Is this the same uh, so format the where about, we don't have to buzz in? We're back to buzzing in. Uh, this is a question about Ben for Andrew and Adam. In the Eulogies for the Living episode, where Ben wrote a eulogy about you oh, two. Great episode. Uh, how did Adam and Andrew both die? Oh, oh shit. Come on, man. Ding, ding. Go ahead. Car, car accident? I'm just guessing. Come on, dude. No. Fuck. <laughs> what? I got, I'm just guessing. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So much. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, so Adam. precocious, right from the murdered, murdered by disgruntled fans. No, nope, nope that is nope. incorrect. You both, Ben, you want to tell him? You both died in a, a hot air balloon incident. Oh shit! <laughs> Come on, that was a deep. Died. That was a deep cut. That was a deep. Yeah, cut. that was a live. Deep that was a live cut. episode a that we did at the Bug Theater. You were you all read eulogies yep. for one another? And I Great think it episode. was the first of this year. Actually, it was the very first episode we did this. Year. Well, funny you should say that that was the la- that was the last episode of two years ago but good try <laughs> <laughs> time is a flat circle ron i wasn't even uh, nailed it the edibles are working out great benny boy the edibles are working out great <laughs> well you were around and you were around the new year's holiday ben note, so congrats <laughs> interesting side note that was october's episode <laughs> <laughs> that was our most recent episode. So we have no idea else. when this shit has happened. All right. All right. We're going right. to do one more boy crazy oh, question, shit. and then we're going to go on to a speed round. Great. All right, you ready okay. for this? Fuck ready. Yes. Okay. Final boy crazy question. Uh, what episode of boy crazy did we record outside? Yeah. Ben. Oh, God. It was a... It was at the number thirty eight. Am I correct on that? No, no, no. That was our that was our real podcast. We did it in this the is, freezing. Sorry, I should, I should say outside in a park. 
We we recorded this during the ben pandemic. Does not, he nope, does not I get lost a go. It. I lost he had it. his answer. I lost it. I remember recording in Cheeseman, but I don't remember the subject of the boy crazy. No, it was in City Park. Yes, please. Uh, yes, Adam. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> new, new kids on the block. Ding, 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 ding. That is correct. Oh, oh Adam block. pulls into the lead. Wow. Okay, well we done. All well right. done. So let's get a let's get a quick review on the, uh, on the Adam with here. four, Andrew with three, Ben with one. If you don't know what Boy Crazy is, it's our pod within a pod for <laughs> Patreon supporters, yeah, wherein we if rate. One of us had got the question: What is Boy Crazy? And the hunk worthiness no of clue. pop culture <laughs> figures. If you haven't uh, listened to Boy Crazy and you're looking for a reason to join Patreon, it's fucking insane. Yeah. It's a whole different podcast apart from this podcast. It's very, it's it's very funny. It's very fun. fun. Okay, speed round. All right, so now we're going to move on to a speed round. I'm hoping this will be a speed round. We'll see how it goes. These questions are meant to be answered quickly. Uh, these these are okay. questions open to absolutely everyone. Any of you can buzz in. Any of you can answer. Some of the questions, you will each have a unique answer. Uh, it'll be a, an answer specific to you. So uh, we're going to start off. We're going to see how quick this goes. First up, question. What was the earnestness horn originally called? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is that from a hat? That is that is from a fan. That is from a fan. Wow. Um, Jesus Christ. Ben, don't nobody, you can, down. You can all just, no, I'm not. No, I, I, wait, anybody, I anybody, I you can know. just say I have no idea. I don't I have know. No idea. I, don't, I don't, know. don't know. I didn't even know it was. A, the earnestness horn was originally called the sincerity horn. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We were long so before, tender long before back we then. ever <laughs> established the rules of the earnestness horn, which we had to create because you guys could not stop. You were trying to be serious about something, and you kept cracking jokes. That makes a lot of sense because unincorporated sincerity county was brought into <laughs> that's right. Township. That's right. They yeah. were annexed, so it was folded they in, were annexed. and that would make a lot yeah. of sense. And it, yeah. now it's well, illegal to even say the word sincerity. So yeah, yep. that makes sense. Well, the yep. residents of Sincerity Peninsula are isolated now. I mean, they they get <laughs> yeah. in and out of it. Fuck off them. Of, of All right, moving Fuck right them. along. This is supposed to be a problem. speed round, and you are doing a great job. <laughs> Don't bring up Rift City if you want to. Speed round I know, I'm because sorry. God I damn. Not okay, bring next up the question. It's right there in the name. Sorry. sorry, we take our time in Rift City and enjoy life at our own pace. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the brochure. That's in the brochure. <laughs> uh, you all swam with Olympic swimmers. Uh, you did mm-hmm. a you did an episode where you competed against one another swimming, and you each had a coach. What was the name of your coach? Yes, please. Uh, Sebastian from South Africa. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yep, that is correct. Adam got it. Adam got that point. Uh, my coach's name was Tommy. Great. Yep. Uh, ben, you want to you want to take a swing just for posterity? And Ben, can, all three of, of you people, can get points. Glad Hander, Charmer. All three what of was you your can get coach's points name? if you remember. <laughs> I think Ben's frozen. All right. Ben's Mentally, frozen. <laughs> he hasn't frozen. He hasn't frozen. <laughs> all right, moving you right along. Piece of What's shit. Ben's, what was Ben's coach's name? Blake and Blake Worsley. Worsley. That's right. Yep. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, next question. What short-lived character is known for chiming in with positive things to say to cheer you up and get you ready for hibernation? Ding, ding. Andrew. Uh, the good time grizzly. Uh, fuck. What was his first name, though? Yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> fuck. What are we doing on this podcast? Gary. Gary the good time grizzly. Hey. All right. That's points for oh, Andrew. Grizzly oh, Gary wow. the good time bear. Woo. Uh, Wow. That's funny. Uh, that was from an episode called Lipstick on the Memory Pig. Bonus question for <laughs> all three right. of you. What was the challenge from Lipstick on the Memory Pig? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, Adam? It, it was taking a negative memory and... Or no, it was trying to remember something good from your childhood. Like instead yes. of pulling something bad out of your childhood, try to remember a good thing from your childhood and, and celebrate it. Ding, ding. That is correct. All right. Good job. All right. Moving on next. Uh, this is fun. It's cool to like like learn about this podcast. <laughs> I like it. You should listen to it, Ben. I think you'd like you it. Check you should it out listen sometime. to it. It's pretty good. I think you'd like yeah. it. Yeah. And it'll be so new to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know any uh, of this shit. How the fuck do you all? Know? It's cool. We are going to put you in a memory assisted home. <laughs> we, uh, we did a live episode. The title of the episode was called Meat Puppets, uh, where all three of you were tasting game yes. meats. Uh, I yeah. had you, oh, yeah. I, I prepared dishes for you at Taka. I, I'm going to just give you the ben point, Milo. Ben, because you answered the question before you answered before I even asked. I, I was going to ask, where was the Meat Puppets episode taped? Uh, fuck. 
I'll answer. That's at the uh, art campus at Willits, or as it is uh, known locally in Basalt, it's Taka. Taka! Oh, that is correct. All right, point for Ben. Hey, Ben (laughs) remembered one. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, next question up. Uh, Who had the best weed reference in the Sax That Dagger episode? Ding, ding. Oh, fuck. It was Andrew. Uh, It was Adam with Sax That Dagger. (laughs) That's yeah. why we used it as the title for the episode. We had Patreon vote, and they chose a different one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ben. Fuck. You want to give it a shot? Uh, it is. This uh, is, again, from the episode where you guys, you all three smoked weed uh, and then came back, and I gave you creativity tests. Uh, getting Chuggy Housard. <laughs> nope, nope. Very close. Uh, that yes, was please. a good one, though. Yes, please. Yes, yeah. please. Adam. It was me. I had the best one. <laughs> <laughs> That is incorrect. No, it was me with Huff the Ghost of John Denver. Oh, oh that's right. But that was a wrong yes. answer. They yeah, but Patreon was wrong about Sex that. Sex that dagger yeah. is so much fucking funnier than all of that. Sex that dagger. It is. All right, let's just do, we're, we're coming up on the, the end of this here. Um, how are we doing on scores? Let's all right, score, score check. I believe Adam is in the lead with six points. Andrew hot on his heels with five. And Ben... It, in third with two. But listen, okay. if we were still doing the half point scoring system, I would be at two and a half. You'd have three. You'd oh, have three. Okay. Uh, you'd have three. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next up, uh, this is a Patreon supporter question. Uh, what is the name of your very first and longest supporter on Patreon? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ben. Laura Ochoa. Great guess. Laura rules. She's been a supporter of you guys for a very long time. That is incorrect. Damn it. Okay. Anybody else? You want to take another swing? Totally okay if you don't ding, know. Ding, ding. No idea. Uh, Andrew. Johnny H. Adam's dad. <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> that was Johnny a good H. Guess, H. does though. support us it on a, Patreon. It was a good guess. He created his own separate tier. He pays a separate dollar amount than everyone else, and he wants no prizes. It's very weird. Uh, but he, Sounds like Johnny he H. came in later. He came in later. Cool. Any, any other guests? Adam, you want to take a swing? No. Yeah, it's me. It's me, you <laughs> dumb fuckers. It's me. I was the very first That's person to so ever support on Patreon. That's a trick I still question. do. For some reason, I don't fully understand That's so why. weird because you split the profit with yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, no, I actually get $9 less. I'm only at the Andrew level, though. I didn't want Ben's weird intro. I didn't want a special welcome message. <laughs> you're, at, you're at the Andrew level. That's great. I'm only at the Andrew level. I didn't want Ben's level. Amazing. Um, I don't want a birthday shout out either. All right. Hey, uh, Ron, thanks for being our original Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. You're you know, very welcome. Our... I was just... It's mostly because I was feeling weird about the big fat goose egg at the very beginning, and I had to do something. (laughs) So I feel, why don't you upgrade? And I really think that our like familiarity with each other and our closeness it 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 will help you. I will not send you anything as bad as you think it will be because we know each other so well. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you upgrade? You winked at me just now, Ben, and and that makes me absolutely certain I'm not interested. That's going to show you his perineum. I, I did not blink. I just think it's going to be something nice. Okay, this is a this is going to be a multiple choice question. This will be our final group question. Okay. Uh, in January of 2022, so almost two years ago, we did an episode where we created the text commandments because we were texting each yes. other way too much. Yes. In that episode, we made rules for texting each other. Name one of those commandments. Uh, oh yeah, fuck. Ding ding. Oh, Ben. Keep it all in one thread. Quit multiple bubbling us, Andrew, you ding. fucking piece That's a point. of shit. That's it. I got a point. Okay, uh, ding, ding. Little, what are you doing? Keep it within business hours. Like, not, not, no text before yeah, 9 a.m. Yeah, but the game is over. I already fucking... See, this is what I'm it talking about. It said name about. one of them. There was the other what answers. What quiz show? What fucking quiz there's show? There's other answers. Yeah, there's other answers sometimes. It's the first to answer, you fuckwad. Yes, like, please. No one plays right. like that. I'm going to give you guys yes, I'm going to give you guys a multiple choice question. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, Adam, go ahead. Stop. They can get one, but I don't get one. Andrew, your your answer is correct. Yeah, there was no texting before 9 a.m. Yeah. Uh, well, are you accepting other answers or not? I don't know. You guys decide. I don't. Care. It's your show, Ron. You're the boss of the show. I don't care. In it. No, I'm really not. People You're Pat think that. Sajak. People think that, and it's really not true. I'm just barely here holding on. I'm like you walking your dogs. I'm holding on for dear life, hoping we don't get dragged in the mud. Sick. Well, right. Andrew, you either let me get a point 
or a crack or you don't give yourself a point. And that's how it works, dudes. All right, let's give Adam a crack because if Adam blows this, I tie him. So, okay. I could, right. I I could blow it because I don't really have a good one, but I want, I don't want to, I don't want to lose. All right. You have to respond to the pertinent thing and not take it off in a different direction. Mm -hmm. No tangents. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct answer. All right. Okay. Okay. Jesus, fuck. Here's the fucking problem. Every time I make some sort of progression forward towards you guys, you guys decide to award yourself points. (laughs) For shit, you didn't even fucking. Almost as if it's a metaphor for our friendship. (laughs) Yeah, in your careers. All right. I'm going to do, just because that's fun, I'm going to do one little bonus one. This is from me. This is a question from me. Hold on. I got to take this as a potential spam call. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, that episode was almost two years ago. Since then, how many texts have we sent to each other? Is it more than 5,000? Oh I don't want to know. More than 10,000 or more than 15,000? Ding, ding. More than 5,000. That is correct. All of these are correct because, yeah, the actual answer is 21,378 texts in the last two years, boys. How do you know that? 20, oh. I found an app that would count the texts, and I figured it out. 21,378 texts. Can you break down who I sent might, the most? I, I might be responsible it's, for 20,000 of those. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. And it was Andrew in all one topic. 20,000 of them were Andrew at one topic. Can I say, my texts are like jazz, I also baby. discovered I've got about four to 5,000 texts separately with each of you individually as well over the last three years. Dude, more than my family, goss. more than my kids, my wife, my brother. Well, you uh, live in the same combined. houses. Never combined. heard of them. Yeah. If you'd agree to move in with us like yeah. you have with your family, we wouldn't text you Also, as much. if your family put out a dope podcast, what they fucking don't, you know, that's the other part. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, I'm tied with Adam. All right. Fuck. Okay, so here we go. We're going to end this with a couple of earnestness questions. You're each going to get a chance. This is for however many points you want we can do. Let's let's make it for lots of points. Do we have to sound um, the actually, earnestness horn? Actually, you guys can horn. score yourselves. We're going to sound the earnestness horn, and I'm going to ask you each this question. Okay. Let's just do the same order. Andrew, okay. first. Andrew goes first. How you burn? Andrew, earnestness horn has been sounded. What challenge has changed you okay. the most? You're already <laughs> laughing. Zero points for Andrew. What? I can laugh. Yeah, I'm not. Hard. There is a sort of about not making fun of people. You can laugh. There's a strict no wow. wheeze laughing order when the earnestness. There is not. That's true. That is that not. Is and true. I've never heard that. You're making something up on the spot. The person who the side Andrew Andrew can laugh. The person who's protected earnestly, under the earnestness laughed. horn can laugh. That's true. You I mean, are he protected. Laugh he laughed nervously, and he's on the nervousness barge, which does. I'm being have sniped a pl- while under the earnestness horn by Ben. You are making up you rules. Are... I have an answer, and it and it made me laugh because it it is the true earnest answer. But as I will, as you will soon find out, it will make you laugh. The challenge that has changed me the most is the how you dumping challenge and the squatty potty. <laughs> I have used <laughs> the squatty potty ever since that challenge, and it it works great, and uh, I moved it with me. I think when people come over and they don't know what it is, they think it's some kind of, like, old person assistance device to, like, get up to the toilet or something. It's, it looks terrible. Sure. It's a terrible thing to have in your bathroom. Uh, I've moved it with me, and I've used it uh, reliably since. There have been other... Uh, challenges that um, have uh, have certainly affected me in maybe a shorter term, but as far as like day to day core body functions level, it's got to be how you dumping and the squatty potty. That's uh, a good, good answer. answer. So good that answer. was a, that was an episode we did with Ian Carmel where That's we right. made him a squatty potty, and you all tried it out. Great episode. Yep. Okay, yeah, Adam, you're. I was up. just laughing at how fast it came to mind. It was like, <laughs> oh, it's the <laughs> shitting. Now, it's yeah. the shitting. Challenge. You immediately knew. You immediately knew. All right, Adam, same question to you. Uh, What challenge has changed you the most? How you burn? God. Oh, you know, the beauty, beautify your neighborhoods challenge. We started doing a bird of the week in in that challenge. Remember we hung, and we're still fucking doing it. And it's a, it's a, people look forward to it. Like people will be like, oh, the new bird's dropping. So like, I don't know. We're still every week we hang up and laminate a new bird and put it out on the tree. And, and so I'm, that's the one that has stayed with me the most. Nice. Beautify hey, that's your great. neighborhood. We actually that's... had a Patreon supporter wanting an update on that on that challenge. 
how things went. So that's well, a, we'll give you Adam's like address, and you can walk by and, and, and here's see. A, here's a fun little thing. Every I, I do all these facts, and then I hide one fake fact. I have like a fake joke about the birds that I write every week, and that's and people are look now people are looking for the joke. So it's it's kind of a fun little thing. Hey, that's cool. Okay, all right, uh, Ben. How you burn? What challenge? Uh, earnestness horn has been sounded. What challenges changed you the most? It's hard because I would definitely probably go along with Andrew. I still use the squatty potty. I still have one. Mm-hmm. Um, We're squat brothers. And then I also <laughs> that's what we call ourselves on <laughs> the Reddit sub champ. <laughs> I'm trying to not laugh because the Ernest Sorn has been sounded, cool. but that's really funny. I think that's uh, cool. And then I, so I, I probably have think that's cool. two answers. One, Ernest. I think the writing a letter to our younger selves was one that I thought, mm. not necessarily for myself, but one that when I listened to what my two very close friends wrote that they would write to themselves, I thought, it gave me a lot of insight. And then the other one that I took a lot from was the living eulogies. I thought those were very beautiful. And I think more people should do that on a regular. That's one that's just kind of stuck with me. Um, and I think they were very profound. And uh, so those are the ones that I would say changed me, like impacted me the most. Negative sounding the earnestness horn and going back to sarcasm. I want to rescind it. I think the one that made me realize that these two people don't care anything about me was the perineum challenge. Oh my God. Because the fact that they believe. can't let go. Mm. I can't believe a year has gone by and you haven't been able to process this. You both came at me today. Oh, since the, since the earnestness horn has been rescinded, I'd like to say I think the challenge that stayed with Ben the most was taking a break <laughs> from social media. I think he really learned Episode from one. that. Ben just threw and his phone has across the room. A better person I don't even have my phone in my fucking hand right now, social Adam, media. So we had you set I'm, it to mm-hmm, the side before really we started recording, and it keeps creeping back into your lap. To witness your growth, <laughs> well, Ben Roy, you know, has I'll tell you what, if you be had been outside person. of my window, you could have seen my growth clearly on the perineum challenge because it was unobstructed by by windows or screens. <laughs> I wasn't outside yeah, I couldn't your window. see in your I window because I was down I was on the ground outside, outside getting the sun on you my were not. Hole. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that Andrew did not get naked in his backyard. And, I didn't and get naked. I fucking, pulled my pants down. What? I didn't get naked. It was all snowy out. You're fucking, I didn't yeah, get naked. I pulled pull my pants, pants down. down sun your we asshole. have got to wind down. It has been episode 100. What a joy. It's all it bullshit. Everybody listening. Episodes. This podcast I consider you guys my brothers. I've never been closer to anyone. And Ron, I consider you wow. my father more than my actual father. So Wait, we've got to I announce one results. <laughs> well, look. Yeah, okay. I, so, this is, um, this is yeah. crazy, and I, I regret doing it. Yeah, go ahead. I docked myself a point for making a joke when the earnestness heart was sounding. I called a oh, squat wow. brothers. That, that was a, that was a, I just riffed. I couldn't help it. And I, and I uh, took took... Took a little. That's generous of you, Andrew. So honest. Yeah, like I said, I regret doing it because I it make it means that I have lost the game and I have second. All problems place. aside, and the fact that your bullshit counting and your constant meandering of rules and and changing of goalposts. Meandering of his rules. That's not the word he if, wanted. He could do it again. <laughs> your moving of the goalposts. <laughs> your constant this this constant zig and zagging of what we do. All that aside, one thing I will say about my brothers in Riff is we respect the earnestness one. You have and to. And I do. You, you have, have to. to. So and, and we do. You know what? I feel like I need to do a little bit of score take into consideration some things that happened with the earnestness horn. I think Ben was by far the most earnest. His answer was the most earnest. It did feel like a thing that really moved. It was very moving the way he spoke. Oh, the way I used that squatty potty is so moving. It moves me like you would not believe. However, Ben then rescinded the earnestness horn. You are allowed. I need to take all that into consideration. So here's what I'm going to say. No, no, just shut up for a second, Ron. Listen, no, no, no. It's the Ron, it's been too long. Ben. Benjamin. I'm not, I don't apologize. <laughs> We're going to stop right now. I'm going to take some time to tally this up. We're going to let you know who won this in Act 3. 
and we've got another huge announcement that we're going to be making in the Act Three. So one um, last for listeners, I used the pettiness catwalk to get across while the Rift Bridge was up, which you're allowed to do if you rescind it. Heading this catwalk. It's dangerous up there. It's so rickety and rusty. (laughs) You got to be careful. Yeah. (laughs) And and it's to keep people, you know, from overusing it. But I use the pettiness catwalk. Ben's Ben's way behind on points, right? Oh, he's very, very far. (laughs) Great. Ben, I'm going to give you one final. This is going to be a challenge of a question. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you to throw it to a new comic, throw it to the comedian at the end of Act Two here. Uh, but the challenge is you cannot use any of your well-worn... Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> any of okay. your cliches, any of your tropes, you can't use any of them in this signpost. you got to throw it to a comic without doing any of your usual So fresh and stuff. original. Do it original. Up to three points to do this. Gagunga! Shit! Comedy time! That's what you've all been waiting for. Comics, comics, comics. Today, we are going to take some time out from just riffing and goofing. From just riffing and goofing. And let us let us slam, wham, jam down on some of some fine, fine wordplay from a dude who has been changing the game for years. For years he's been changing the game, and he's got his 20th anniversary of comedy coming up. It's Ben Roy. And and I want to say, clip this. Clip it out. And and let it set into your heart. And then after that, I tell you what, get yourself some tickets to the Grolix. We always love to massage a little link action right there down below in the notes of the show. And then when all of this is done, when the magic is completed, when it's all over with... I, tell, I've never tell, seen someone's mind hit the guardrail so hard in my when, life. This is good stuff. When, this is good stuff. And when that when that comedy shine is dulled and you're ready, call Daddy up. Mm. See if he'll let you ride on his back to the third act, <laughs> where everybody is waiting for you with more show and all kinds mm. of cool shit. Third actors, it's time to party. So stay tuned. Is okay, that, I did it, point, right? right. Can I get point, wow. Points to Ben. We'll be right back. I have an idea for a game show that's just called It's Asbestos! <laughs> oh, come on. That sounds fucking awesome. Imagine a TV show. It's a game show, and whenever the contestants get it wrong, the host goes, that's not cake. It's asbestos! <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us on It's Asbestos, the game show where our contestants have to guess whether or not that's a cake made of the finest ingredients on the planet or two and a half pounds of pure, unabated asbestos. Now... Kyle from Branson Hills here. Kyle has wagered all of his cake bucks that what he's looking at over there is not a stool, right? On that, on that, that is, he's wagering that that is a trace leche cake and not two and a half pounds of questionable insulation from an inner city high school. Now, (laughs) Kyle, I want you to get your spoon out and cut into that and get ready to take a bite of that, Kyle. Kyle, the audience is watching. Go ahead, Kyle. Kyle's wagered that it's cake. He's taking a bite. Oh, bummer, Kyle. Beehive in the mouth. Because that's not cake. It's asbestos. (laughs) Mesothelia. Oh, my God. Are we having fun tonight? Third actors, hello, nice to see you. We have had a really, really kind of crazy episode, and I know you don't give a shit. You just want the plugs. You just want the announcements, but we do have some business to do in the third act, which is who won this challenge. It was a quiz show about the who knows this podcast the best. Andrew, you were keeping score. Who won this podcast? Who won this episode? Who won the quiz show? Well, I'd like to, before he says so, I'd like to preeminently take my... (sighs) 
my trophy as the winner and my place atop the podium because I performed as everyone would expect. You prematurely quiz ejaculated, Ben. Get sit you down. Mean prematurely, sit down. and I cannot keep correcting <laughs> I your prematurely, words. Pre- I prematurely quiz ejaculated. Uh, right. Adam, okay. Adam, you won. I got second, and Ben. Got third. Bullshit. Uh, and for those of you listening at home, let us know how you did. Let us know. Maybe you aced it. I wanted my half points. If we were still playing a half point must scoring system, I would have. Oh, we're we're putting the sash on Adam. God <laughs> bless America. Why is he doing that? Anyway. Land that I love. Stand beside her. And guide her. Sorry, I just... Adam definitely has the most titles among the Grolics. He's the Eco King. (laughs) Um, What was the other title he got? I won in swimming. I'm the fastest swimmer. I'm the best baseball player. I have the nicest dick and the handsomest face. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you missed the best dick, best face competition. Those were were challenges we did on Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member, you got to sign up for the 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 best best dick challenge. The best dick pageant is so (laughs) off-putting. We got to thank some people in the this challenge, right? Who do we got to thank? Let's thank our listeners for uh, propelling us to 100 fucking episodes. How about that? Absolutely. Four years has been amazing, and watching this podcast grow, we love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. You you are the best. And you know what? I know we thank him later in the credits, but I'm going to thank producer Ron for making those 100 episodes. Oh, they sound magic. And this, All the sound effects. And this quiz. Thanks, Ron, for putting this all together. This was a fun episode. Yes, it was great. Of course, yeah, you can't fun. hear him. He's thanking, but he's in the Grolix bank vault right now. Okay, we have the shield up. Um. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, do you want to hit us with it a little bit? Oh, Come yeah, on. okay. Plugs, 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 oh, plugs, 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 behind plugs, it. plugs, it's plugs, soft. plugs, it's plugs, 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 plug
review, subscribe, follow this podcast, uh, follow us on social media, give us a rating, tell people we love when you spread the word uh, and you can point them to all of the social media platforms where we're at Grawlix Comedy, at Grawlix Comedy. Send them over, send them to us. We love hugging your friends and your families. But more than that, we love your cash. And we get that on <laughs> patreon.com slash Grawlix saves. Join us on the Patreon. There's all sorts of benefits. Chief among them, if you join at the Ben level, you do get a birthday shout out. Whoa. And it is time to say happy birthday to our December babies. That means your parents fucked in March. Ooh, There's some uh, spring babies. sloppy St. Patty's Day. Spring Breakers. Day. Some, uh, yeah, some spring Breakers. Spring Breakers, St. Patty Day. They went down to Corpus Crispy. Crispy. Corpus, Corpus, Corpus Crispy. Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite donut. I say it wrong every time. My favorite donut is the Corpus Krispy. Yeah, at Krispy Kreme. The yeah. Corpus Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I'm getting uh, St. Patty's Day blackout drunk fuck. Your parents probably don't even know each other. You just grew up in a solo household. But regardless, glad your parents fucked and that you're here. Um, what are we going to do? Ron, Ron suggested that we tell these people some trivia that they might not know about themselves. Oh. We hit them with some deep cuts okay. that they might not even know about themselves. So are you guys ready to play that? Game. I'm ready. I'm ready. Kick it off. I'd like to take this first one. Sure. And uh, it, it, this is my, it, the reason why is this is a very close friend of mine, Courtney. Uh, and uh, Courtney, you know who you are. Uh, the knee, as I call you, a very close friend uh, of mine. Uh, and uh, I, w- I would like to, something that people don't know about Courtney uh, Courtney was a signatory on the Oslo Accord. Oh, good. And that was, yes, yes, a very, and, and someone that is staunch about Middle East peace and were, uh, and, and, uh, and somebody who's, uh, was a diplomat, uh, for a long time. Not many people know very that. Very necessary. Thank you, Courtney. We need Courtney, it now more than ever. We appreciate you. Your work in 1993 helped make the Middle East a much safer place. And we're hoping we can see you get back to some of that work. So, uh, anyway. That's that's Courtney. Uh, Adam, do you want to take the next one? Sure, sure. Uh, next one. Uh, is- this is uh, this is an old friend of ours, Marion Ash. Weird thing about Marion: afraid of stars, afraid of stars, and so it's pretty hard for Marion. Doesn't not a nocturnal person at all. Honestly, dusk is even is a little. Wait iffy. a second. So not like famous people like the celestial, like the cosmos. Okay, the, <laughs> the blinking lights from above. Marion's terrified of them. I don't Nights know whether hard. It's, that they might, are- <laughs> that they might implode, that they might collapse and fall down to earth. Marion can't really pinpoint the fear, but the fear is real. And so Marion is very much a day person, and yes. we need to do more noon shows for Marion, and that is kind of on us, and we're going to work on that in 2024. Well, I hope so, Marion. Wow. I mean, stars are kind of terrifying when you think about what they are. Uh, <laughs> pretty scary to be surrounded by that many Andrew, gigantic suns. You're, you're up right now. I'm, I'm getting scared of stars, just thinking <laughs> Andrew, about it. Focus. <laughs> focus okay, right sorry. Now. You're up next. Uh, okay, I'll take a next Ben Harris. Yes. Ben Harris, a uh, bit of trivia a lot of people don't know about Ben Harris, uh, related to the lost founding father, William Harris. Hmm. Uh, yeah, William Harris excluded from uh, the all of the, uh, the founding father's activities, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, all that uh, William Harris missed uh, uh, hungover at home. The lost founding father, William <laughs> Harris. <laughs> wait, wait. William Harris was hung out, like hungover and missed the signing mm-hmm. of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Okay, that's a bummer. Yeah. That's a tough that one. Is tough. Everyone knows that. that. That's a tough. scar on the family. They don't know that Ben's related. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll take this next one because I know I know this, and I'm sorry, uh, Thomas Bailey, if this is – I hate doing this because I don't want to see people coming to your, your doorstep for handouts, but Thomas Bailey, heir to the Bailey's Irish cream fortune. Oh, my uh, God. That's it, a lot of money. It is. I, it is. Uh, flush with cash and syrupy – liquor 
Uh, Especially this time of yeah. year. This is their, <laughs> they pay all their bills just this, this time of year. Bailey, Bailey's is a Q4 company. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Q4 saves them every year. <laughs> Thomas is, you want to, if you. Summer, not a lot of Bailey's, not a lot <laughs> no, of money no, coming no, into no, Bailey's. No, no one wants to drink a cool Bailey's in the, in the you guys, uh, midday you guys heat don't of do, July. <laughs> you don't do summer shandy with Bailey's. I, that's my, <laughs> that's my doc drink. A summer shandy's no, with Bailey's, No, dude. but I, I mean, I'm telling shit. you, if you. You people out there looking for handouts, hit Thomas up now. He's flush with cash. Uh, so congratulations. Happy birthday, Thomas. Uh, I'll take next the next up. one. A lot of people don't know this about Chris Brenner, and Chris Brenner doesn't even know this himself, but he uh, and his <laughs> friends very much disagreed with the outcome of the last election, and they decided they would storm <laughs> the Capitol. However, Chris Brenner's friends aren't feeling Chris as much. They told him Jan 7. They deliberately ghosted him because they didn't he's want He's the lone him to Jan come. 7 stormer? He's, the Jan, right. he's a Jan 7 stormer. <laughs> oh, that guy got tased and hard. Chris, I'm so, that, I'm that was a so quick one. I'm so sorry you had to learn this on the pod, but your friends he deliberately... He didn't even get out of the parking lot, I heard. Your friends deliberately <laughs> ghosted you because they didn't want to storm the Capitol with you. And so I, I'm trying to tell you this straight up. Find a new group of friends. Ones that will not right. ghost you on your next insurrectionist plot. Jan 7th Patriot. <laughs> <Chris> <laughs> Andrew, ben. you up next? Amazing. Old friend of okay. Ours. Uh, I, yeah, Sheldon Durstein. Uh, this is a gift. It's always cool when someone gives up their own birthday shout out and gives it to somebody else. That's an option oh, you could do. You give up your own. I stand in I, the sacrifice of those people. I stand and I salute them. Uh, Sheldon, this is a, a tribute bit. Not a lot of people know. Uh, world record holder for fresh strawberry eating has eaten more fresh strawberries in it's one beautiful. sitting than anyone else. It's not as popular as the Nathan's hot dog uh, competition, <laughs> but it's, it's quainter. It's it's way quainter. Gruesome. It's. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's not good because of that uh, that illness you can get where the seeds get caught in the lining of your colon, and that's knocks a oh. lot of professional strawberry eaters out of the game. Sheldon's had to deal with that a bit. So wow, I thought the stars thing was scary, and now I've got to Google whatever strawberries are doing to my colon. Well, Sheldon ate seventy five pounds of strawberries in one sitting. Yep, uh, and. Get that colon checked out, bud. It's probably perforated at this point. I'll take this next one, Craig Smith. Uh, not many people know this. Craig actually uh, created the world's first monster truck. Oh, my God. Uh, this was, Ooh. yeah, it, it was an innovation of his. It was purely by accident. Just a guy who likes big tires on, so, a, on a nice truck. So the truck. truck is actually Smith's monster truck. It is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. Like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, started uh, <laughs> so deep stupid. in the bogs of lower Kentucky, uh, and it just kind of took off from, from there. I don't think Craig saw it as being as big, and I don't think he gets the credit for it that he deserves. So we're going to do it right now. Craig, we salute you from all the monster truck fans around the country. Thank you for your service. Uh, on January 7th as well, because he was also a fellow January. He was one of two. Oh, my God, is another uh, yeah. gents. Okay, well, yeah, so then was Craig. The two of them. Craig and Chris should hang, dude. Craig and Chris, yes. you guys should fucking hang and become <laughs> friends. We love when people become friends on the Patreon. That means the world to us. Even if they get into really bad stuff, we're just glad they found each other. <laughs> yep. Adam, I'll tell you about uh, you're on this yeah, We're not one. responsible for the consequences, just just, uh, just the initial meeting. Exactly. Take, I'll tell you about Jack, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Sunderland. It's the last one. Old Jacqueline Sunderland. Really weird fact, no belly button on Jacqueline. It's just strange. Now, there was one in the Ooh. womb, of course, connected to the mom, of food, everything came through there, but it just grew in over the course of her life. And so the belly's just a bare surface, no belly button, and, you know, that's cool. No shame on the, and from this, this team. It is what it is, you know? Honestly, if I could flatten out my belly button and not have one and just have a clear, cool expanse of skin, I would. I think it's a fucking cool look, and I think more people would if they could. (laughs) Uh, Jacqueline, you are a trendsetter. Happy birthday, December babies, and and congratulations to all you March fuckers that made them. Uh, And thanks to everyone (laughs) who supports us. Uh, Of course, get your own birthday shout-out, patreon.com forward slash Grolix saves. Huge thanks, as we mentioned up top, to Geek Who Drinks Ron Doyle, our very own producer Ron, 
who's uh, oh, has helmed the ship through the stormy waters of Segway Bay for us for 100 episodes. Uh, big thanks to Mike Henderson for your help recording at the live show. And as always, our theme music is by the inquisitive Charlie Continental. That's where the Z, oh, you'll have to picture it. Wow, wow, wow. So guys, we've come to that point in the episode where we need to tease next episode's challenge. And we have a... A pretty big announcement instead of, of of a tease, don't we? Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I thought I'd give producer Ron a free one. <laughs> <laughs> we have decided, it's been 100 episodes, it's been a lot of fun, we've decided to sort of inject some new life into the podcast, and we think the best way that we can do that is by turning this into a weekly podcast. <gasps> Gulp, gulp. Uh, yeah, Adam. Adam you didn't is correct. Tell me what that was. Uh, <laughs> you said, <laughs> Andrew. We've been talking about it. Turn your headphones up. Uh, no, uh, Adam is correct. Um, we have been doing this format now for four years and for a hundred episodes. And a big goal of ours has always been to bring more content. What we love doing is talking and uh, creating a podcast that focuses on trying to be better people and be more positive. Uh, we are going to try to make these episodes a bit more streamlined so that we can give you more content. Uh, we are not entirely sure yet what that format is going to look like. Totally. We're yet. working on it. We're brainstorming. But here's the thing. It's just we love doing this podcast. We love the way you guys are reacting to it. We love meeting our fans. Ben and I were just in Maine. We met a fan, Steph, who gave us this incredible handmade map of Rift City. It's wild to us the way that you guys are reacting to this podcast. And we want it to grow. We want it to be big. We want to come play theaters in your town. And we think a way to do that is to go weekly. So, yeah, it's going to be the same pod you love with us riffing and goofing and getting earnest and trying to put some positivity out into the world. But we're going to do a few tweaks to streamline this and make it weekly. And uh, we hope you stick around with us through it. And we, we hope that you help us grow this thing. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for 100 amazing episodes. Thank you for four years. It's been so fun. And stay tuned for uh, this new version of The Grolic Saves the World. We're excited to bring it to you, and we have no doubt you're going to love it. Uh, and we're looking forward to it. In the meantime, for the last time this year, and at episode 100, play us out, Charlie! <laughs>